the man, what up? the legend, my old buddy from way back in the days, Alex. How you doing, buddy? I am uh, injured and tired, but here. Injured and tired, but you're here. I'm here. I'm always here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not dead yet. Let's see, on this episode, I've got Alex from Laser Everything, but it's not just Alex from Laser Everything. This is my buddy, Alex, you know, he's just my buddy right now. And uh, we both have, we've had some horror stories together so many. in our time, uh, but we're not here to talk about our horror stories. We're here to talk about one of Alex's laser engraving horror stories. So what do you think, Alex? I've got, yeah, I've got so much, man. I'm having a hard time deciding which one to tell. It's it's a miracle that I'm even here to be on the show with you today. But uh, yeah, man, I mean, I've got some stories. I think the, the most afraid I've ever been was when I electrocuted myself working on one of my fiber lasers. It, it was it was horrible, dude. I mean, it's just horrible. <laughs> Let's uh, let's hear that one. Tell us tell us when and where and and how this uh, yeah, electrocution yeah. happened. Sure, dude. Um, so I was working on a video of mine that I'm actually really proud of. It's a power supply testing video. So I'm trying to teach people how to use a multimeter and how to test their power supplies and stuff. We're doing a full teardown of the SFX laser. And when you're watching the video, it's like we're hanging out together. But in reality, I'm alone in this warehouse in a basement of an office building on a weekend in like the dark, <laughs> you know, and there's no one else around. I've gutted the machine and I'm feeling really good about it. I've unplugged the machine from the wall, you know, and given it time to like chill and de-energize. All the normal things, I, I think I'm really smart, you know, so I'm feeling super confident. And I've been messing around in the machine for maybe like an hour or so, and my hand just gets a little bit too close to the EMI filter. Do you know what the EMI filter is? Please tell us. <laughs> it's, it's a little silver box that's inside most lasers, Gantry and Galvo. And all it does is clean the power, right? So you get some nasty wall power in, you get a really pretty sine wave out so that the electronic components do what they need to do uh, better, I guess. I'm not an electrician, hence why I've shocked myself really bad. But uh, that thing discharged 120 volts into my arm. <laughs> and I dropped, dude, like just straight to the ground. And the worst part about it is I didn't even touch it. It it arced to me and thank god i didn't have two hands in the machine because i think i might have died i think that would have actually killed me like right then and there but uh yeah it just dumped it must have i don't know how emi filters function i again i'm not an electrician but it dumped 120 volts like right into my arm dude and i just like kind of crumpled into like a little puddle on the floor again alone in the basement of this warehouse like on a weekend after hours and i was just like i'm gonna die here dude like i thought my heart was gonna stop i had like the tingles all over my arm and muscles were like all locked up you know you've gotten a nasty yeah, yeah. jolt right i mean it's uh -huh. for the first few minutes especially i've never done that before ever so i wasn't familiar with that feeling either and i was just like i'm gonna die <laughs> I thought that was it, dude. I was like, I was like, I, this must be what it feels like when my heart is shutting down, you know. <laughs> you know? And uh, of course, Sorry. I didn't. I did, it's funny. It's funny, but God, dude, that was terrifying. Like that was really scary. And I think the worst part about that story is like four months later, I did it again. <laughs> but that time, that time, I I knew what I was in for, you know, because I had already made the mistake. Um, you just gotta be careful, dude. Electronics are just super dangerous. So were you live during that? No, that was it was almost worse because I wasn't live. Um right, so nobody I, can be like Alex. Yeah, I mean like a, a year before I had recorded that video, I actually like checked out of a live stream, like right in the middle of it, and went to the emergency room with a panic attack because I have anxiety problems. And uh I felt better knowing the audience knew something was wrong with me. This was particularly scary because no one knew where I was or what I was doing. 
I was literally just like alone at work. And if there was a serious problem, you know, if I did kind of go into like tachycardia or something or like, you know, there was an issue with my heart, I, nobody would have found me till I was dead. Like for sure, for sure. And I it just was like, I don't know, it was, it was a... It was an eye-opening experience for sure. I definitely learned a couple things that night. But the unit was unplugged, but it was holding a charge. Is yeah, dude. It was? Yeah, it was. I'm assuming it acts like a giant capacitor. It must That's store power because it it was absolutely unplugged. I usually give machines about thirty minutes. Like that's what I'll give a big, you know, the twenty-seven thousand kilovolt freaking CO two laser tubes only take about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour to discharge, and then they're pretty safe to work with. And I've done that dozens of times, and I've never yeah. hurt myself. But those little EMI filters, like, just stay wow. energized forever. Forever. Because I started doing the, since then, I started doing mm -hmm. the, like, the screwdriver trick, you know, to just, like, short yeah. it out and, like, yeah. pop it. Pop. Yeah, and uh, it, it does not go away. I mean, for, like, hours. It's really, it's just really bad. It, it, I don't know how they will wow. charge for so long, uh, but it, it's ridiculous. And it was, it was a, a wall's worth of power. It was not a little like, ooh, you know, <laughs> it was a, it was a blast. I got blasted. Dude, I uh, definitely have had my share of, of electrocution, <laughs> not just in the laser engraving world, but uh, even before that, and it is no fun for sure. Yeah, people will be mad, I think, uh, in the comments because we're saying uh, electrocution, which is when you're killed by an electric shock. Right. I keep saying that you because it sounds shocked. scarier, but I, yeah, we got shocked because we're both <laughs> not dead yet. <laughs> we got stunned. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Well, dude, thanks for coming on and uh, telling your story, man. Yeah, of course, dude. I'm happy and, to. Uh, I've got many, many more. If uh, if you ever want any other lessons from my painful life, I'm happy to share them. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see how this little series goes. Uh, nice. We might have to go to round two because I definitely have some as well. Where are you hanging out these days, dude? Most? I mean, I spend most of my time at LaserEverything.net. It's where we host our 100% free laser resources for the entire community. Yeah. It's really just a giant database with every piece of technical laser knowledge you could ever hope to find. And it's right there for you. I never ask for an email. I don't make you sign up for anything. You don't have to pay a dime. It's just there. So please go to lasereverything.net. Check out our free resources. I hope they help you. Yeah, oh, they do. I have benefited from some of those resources. Good. We definitely walked to the fire together, and I'm always down to come on and hang out with you, man, because it's uh, it's just like reliving the past. Well, dude, thanks for coming on. Of course. And uh, I need to jump on your podcast soon. So, yeah, well, I'm back on the laser source for the 47th time, for sure. <laughs> All right. Later, dude. See you guys.